What is going on, dudes? <clears throat> Lady dudes, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, we got a new card confirmed for Chaos Impact. It's actually a support card instead of a brand new card. I mean, it's a brand new card, but it's a brand new card for an, an archetype we already have supporting that archetype. And it's actually another Evil Eye Link monster. A lot of people were calling for something like this. They needed either, like, a powerful Link 2 or a Link 1 that, like, is just easy because it's easier to make it be helpful. But... Um, yeah, so Chaos Impact, uh, her name is Gorgon, Gorgon, uh, Queen of the Evil Eye, Eyed, um, a much more flexible Link monster for Evil Eye appears, albeit with weaker effects, so it's not as strong as Zerakiel, but, uh, because it's a Link 2, maybe it is something we will make a little more often. It's arrows point up and down, the Sunlight Wolf arrows, um, she's a Dark Fiend, um... <laughs> Uh, with 19 on your attack, which is actually pretty good. Um, and this is what her effects say. She takes two materi or two monsters, including at least one Evil Eye monster, which it does leave a little window open for possibly playing other archetypes in Evil Eye. I don't know. Anyway. She gains 100 attack for each Evil Eye card with a different name in your graveyard. Not crazy, but, you know, on top of 1900, that could easily break her over 2000. Um, and at the max, I'm saying maybe 2500. Uh, but you do banish your own stuff, so, like, I doubt it ever gets that high. But it's something to keep in mind. Definitely can't come in handy. If this card is equipped with Evil Eye of Selene, quick effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects until the end of the turn. Not bad. I mean, like, it's not bad, but it's not great. You're not negating activations. So, like, it's not as good as it could be, but uh, it's not bad. It's, an, it's a veiler. It's a walking effect veiler, essentially. But it's not terrible, so I, I dig that. And also, uh, third effect, once per turn during the next standby phase after the second uh, effect is, is activated, destroy one monster that this card points to. So I don't know how that works if this card doesn't point to anything, if that just means the effect just whiffs. <clears throat> I do like that there is the possibility of... Um, destroying an opponent's monster it points to. That's actually pretty cheeky, especially it may be in the Salamangri uh, matchup. They open up a zone with Sunlight Wolf or Heat Leo. You summon out this thing, you negate an effect, and then next turn you actually pop. You either bait another Bay Lynx out or you actually do remove them from the field, which is actually pretty spicy. Um, overall, I think this card is a little bit underwhelming. Um, I, I think... I think it's fine. I think it's about what I expected in terms of power level. And it's a link too. It is what it is. Uh, they do have a way to get it out with um, uh, Basilius, um, the one that can special itself from hand. So they can make this fairly, fairly, um, you know, quickly. Uh, but the goal, I think, would probably just be to put her with. Serziel on the field, both on the field. That way you have a veil, a walking veiler, and a walking dryden. Um, both on your field, both getting buffs, um, and hopefully have decent stat lines. But outside of that, I don't know if I see uh, this card really being played too much, unless maybe, like, I don't know, you get hand trapped and you aren't even able to get Selene. The problem is, if you don't get Selene, you can't make this thing get, be a veiler, or you can't make um, Serzio become Dryden. So, like, that's the tough part there. I think it's still a nice card. I think it's fine. Uh, I don't think it really changes where Evil Eye stands in terms of, you know, competitive usage. But um, it's still a cool card, and I just want to bring it up because I know there are a lot of people who really like Evil Eye so far, and uh, it's still nice to see that uh, we saw Witchcrafters were getting multiple cards of support, um, and now it's nice to see that we have, uh, you know, we have some faith for Evil Eyes. We have a little bit of a little bit of a, ooh, okay, maybe Evil Eyes can make be on the come up. Who knows? Um, I'll definitely keep you updated though. Thank you so much for watching the video. And uh, if you want to see more stuff from me, if you want to keep updated on uh, you know Yu-Gi-Oh news and stuff, subscribe to the channel because I'm posting videos pretty much every single day. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And peace.